That's a lot of Digimon. As a matter of fact, this is the entirety of the third wave of 20th anniversary Digivices. And today we will be unboxing every single one of them. And I'll also go into detail while I'm unboxing um, which color gets you which Digimon and which egg. Um, there's quite a few here, and depending on which one you get, you could be getting a different series, but I'll let you know which is which. So let's get right into the unboxing. So as you can see here from the Wave 3 lineup, we have three different pairs of Digimon that share a similar visual motif, with the first pair being black and white, with the opposite white and black, two very bright neon colors, and two transparent colors similar to the ones from Wave 3. And the odd one out here has to be this glow-in-the-dark Digimon, which yes, we will be testing by the end of the video, so be sure to watch until the end for the glow test. So the first one up is the very neutral toned black and white Digimon. And lucky for me, the tape here already appears to be peeling back a little bit, uh, making my unboxing job much easier. Well, this has a very executive, almost adult look to it. Very stylish and modern looking. And this Digivice falls under the version A category, which has the exclusive Tai Chi's egg, or Tai to us here in the West. And this can only be unlocked after connecting to five other different Digis. Next, we have the inverted version of the one we just looked at, the white and black. And for this one, I'll be whipping out the scissors to get me a head start rather than fumbling with the tape here. And on a side note, the manual here is the exact same across all 20th anniversary Digivices. So there's no point in going back over it, um, but if you want to take a look at it, um, I do flip through it in my older unboxing video, if you want to check that out. This Digivice has a really clean aesthetic with the white body and black buttons here. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. And it falls under the version B category, which lets you unlock the Yamato egg or Matt's egg from the anime. And this egg can be yours after connecting to five other different Digivices. Next up we have Neon Red. Which is getting snipped by my handy scissors again. This is a very bright Digivice and catches the light very nicely. And this one is a version D Digivice, which will let you obtain the Lunamon Egg after connecting to five other unique Digis. Next up is a very vivid purple and black color. This has a very punk rocker aesthetic. And no scissors for this one either because the tape is already peeling here. Wonderful. And here is the lovely bright purple with black buttons and black cage. And this one is a version C Digimon, which will let you unlock the Coronamon egg. Ooh, that's some bad timing. But yes, the Coronamon egg can be yours after connecting to five other Digis as per usual. Next we have our translucent color, with this very cool translucent green with hot pink buttons and cage. And this Digi is from the version E category with the Meiku egg. Next we have what I like to call the orange soda digivice, with green buttons. This is the other translucent from Wave 3 and looks really cool. However, this falls under the same category E as the transparent green one, so they are pretty much identical as far as exclusive eggs go.
And last but absolutely not least is what I would consider the most unique Digivice yet. This super awesome glow in the dark Digivice. This is just so cool and a contender for my favorite color so far across all three other series. And just like the last two, this one is also a Meiku egg from category E. Which is fine because Meikuman is absolutely adorable. Also stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm about to test the glow in the dark feature on this Digivice. So there you have it. For the huge unboxing portion of the video, I absolutely love this particular wave and if you have the whole collection here, you can collect pretty much every single egg available. So anyways, thanks for sticking with me until the end and now let's get our glow in the dark Digimon to shine. Just about a minute up here close to the ring light so it can absorb all its light rays, if you will. And I will be fast forwarding here a bit. And that should be enough light. So let's take it to a very dark room like the laundry room here. Wow, I can see it glowing already. That's actually pretty bright, but let's kick the door closed and boom. Now that is a cool feature. Yeah, I'm thinking this is my favorite. This is definitely my favorite Digivice thus far across all three waves. And wow, once again, thank you all for checking out this video and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.